Spokane International Airport, 14th of June, and we have 44 people flying out today to Ireland in partnership with the Limerick Society and the Lilac Festival. So they are going to do a two-week tour of Ireland and join the gathering 2013, which is a great big festival welcoming sons and daughters or anybody with an Irish heritage to go back to Ireland and join their families, etc. So this is pretty exciting. Uh, there's going to be another 10, 15 people joining them later on. And they're just about to check in. And when they go through security, we have a surprise for them the other end. So keep in touch and we'll see you through the, through the doors. Where are you guys going? Ireland! <laughs> So this is Kerry Lynch, President of the Limerick Society, and how long have you been a President? It's a long time. Well, it? I was saying that it's been a wonderful, wonderful journey for me and for our Limerick board members. Um, we Limerick is 23 years old, 23. and um, in March, and I have been President for 18 of those 23 years. Can you believe that? 18 years. That's it goes a long by time. fast, and, but we have a huge membership, one of the largest of the sister cities. We have um, a little over 200 members. And we have a very strong board. Many of them are original founding members of the Limerick Society. So it's a very uh, large Irish community in Spokane, and many of them are here today. I know. Many of them are dressed in lilac. What is that? <laughs> Just kidding. We know it's a lilac <laughs> festival is going to Ireland on their journey. So. Yeah. And you've been to Ireland how many times? Like 17? Many, many times, yes. We yeah. go every other year. Um, yeah. Every other year, somebody, a delegation from Limerick, usually the mayor of Limerick and um, their staff, come to Spokane, so we do a lot of celebration of our twinning and our relationship and then we go next year and so um, we had the uh, mayor of Limerick and a delegation here last year and they, they helped lead the Limerick Literary Pub Crawl that we have every year on Bloom's Day and this year everyone will be in Dublin on Bloom's Day celebrating uh, Leopold's Bloom's Great Adventure in Ulysses and so um, it's just an exciting time and the Limerick Society is very pleased to have so many. We have 68 folks joining us for, um, it's called the Gathering Ireland this year, where people from all over the world are coming to Ireland and to trace their roots, to be part of their Irish heritage and to just enjoy what we hope will be continued sunshine on the Emerald oh, Isle. Oh yeah, I know, it's been good. Yeah, it has well, been Well thank you, thank you yes, Kerry, thank you. we're going to move in to the security and see the folks the other end. Great, thank you. Good morning, I'm Christine Leva, President of the Spokane Lilac Festival, and we're here at the uh, Spokane International Airport to uh, have a tremendous trip to Ireland, and uh, this morning the airport has been so gracious to have a send-off for us, uh, and they're supplying a breakfast and, and uh, a, just a whole lot of warm wishes which they always do and I'm so proud to be here to represent uh, all of our Royal Court, our seven Royal Court members and uh, all the Lilac directors that have come. There's 23 of us uh, from the Lilac Festival that are going to be per participating in this trip. Uh, this is from the sister city, Spokane, uh, sister city Limerick, Ireland is where we will be going. And uh, we are all going to be together. Uh, there's going to be 44 total on the trip. Uh, and uh, this has just been a dream. And we thank uh, Spokane International Airport for putting this together for us uh, as we are sent off to Limerick, Ireland. So uh, thank you so much, uh, Spokane Airport, especially Larry Crowder and Todd Woodard and Rachel McCall for putting all this together. Thank you so much. And I know also uh, Guru Travel uh, has helped us, uh, and the uh, Travel Store has helped us to uh, be here this morning and uh, made all the arrangements for our trip. So it's, it's taken a whole commu community to put this uh, Limerick trip together. And while we're there, we're going to be doing some community service. And we're looking forward to that, as well as touring the country. You know, this is, I just have a couple things to say. Obviously, this is a, a great opportunity uh, for my wife and I and for Spokane 
But you know, it was about 20 some years ago and I was looking through my parents' stuff and uh, my father's passed away, but my mom still uh, has a home and I was looking through all of her boxes and this was their first trip they took after having 10 children. Uh, so I think it was 1991, and so I was looking at it in this, and it was, I think, was it our first trip uh, to Limerick? The second, the second trip to, to Limerick. So here's my mom and dad at the Spokane Walk. There was only a couple pictures uh, that were in the box, and uh, obviously someone took this of my parents, and then my dad was a pretty good photographer, but there wasn't a ton of pictures. I think he had a lot of fun, to say the least. I was a junior in high school, and I just remember them calling back, and uh, Dad was complaining about how to drive, and I'd ask where he was, and then I'd hear him yelling at my mom in the pub saying, where the hell are we? And, uh, but they had an absolute blast. But uh, to you know, always know, those of you guys that know my dad, it was interesting to find in his box um, a picture, and the only one, of John Kennedy. Uh, and uh, the only picture I found besides this picture of them was uh, his picture of the John Kennedy uh, memorial there, which uh, for those of you that know my dad speaks a lot. I think uh, that may have been the last Democrat he voted for, but, uh, but it's great and obviously he uh, uh, respected him a lot. I would also just say uh, that this is also a family trip for me. My in-laws are coming with me. My brother and his wife are coming. Uh, we are meeting my nephew who's coming from Italy. Another nephew is coming from Spokane later on in this trip. And our cousins, my, grand, my great grandparents are from Cork, and so my dad's cousins, uh, many of them still live there. And I just got a Facebook post this morning from, I guess it would be my second cousin, uh, Rory McQueen, that'll be meeting us. Uh, he's coming over from London. So it is the year of the gathering for, the, uh, for Ireland, and it is for my family also, as uh, we travel back to where uh, my grandparents on my father's side came. And I couldn't uh, say uh, be on a better trip than with our ambassadors of Spokane and the Spokane region, the Lilac Court. And it's great to celebrate our 75th anniversary of our community uh, with a trip to Ireland. So all of the rest that are joining us, uh, thank you. I look forward to a great trip, and uh, may the road rise to meet you. Oh, my goodness. We're going to Ireland. <laughs> I think I speak on behalf of all the girls in the court and the YWAC directors in saying we've been blessed with an incredible mayor that has gone above and beyond in support of the Spokane Lilac Festival and just the relationships we have throughout Spokane's community and the insight that we've gained from doing this and the relationships we've built. And now we're traveling across the world to go get an insight at a country that none of us have ever been to before. And that insight we're getting is from a service point of view. Um, and that's something not a lot of people get to experience. So we're all really grateful for it, and hopefully we can go share some Spokane spirit in Ireland. Well, we've had a special breakfast today for our group, actually right at the gate, and even included some little cupcakes with a logo of Spokane Airport. Isn't that special? 